Hello, and welcome to Orchestra's how-to series. Um, today, we're going to be talking about journal vouchers and how journal vouchers can be used to create basically a test journal entry to make sure we have everything correct before we actually post it permanently to the books. Um, so, let's dig right into the software. In the financials section, we basically right under journal entry, we have journal vouchers. And what we want to do is add entry to a new voucher. What we're going to do is let's just choose uh, an account, cash on hand, and debit cash on hand $5,000. And this is probably due to revenue. So we're going to credit revenue $5,000 um, just so we're accountingly correct. And we're going to say add to voucher. Okay, we've now added it to our voucher. Now we can always go through and add another entry to the same voucher. Let's say this one is $6,000. We can give it a remark. Uh, miscellaneous sales. And update rows. Yes, so this way the remark will be on the rows as well. The voucher. I'm going to say close. Now you see here we have a single voucher. In that voucher we have two separate transactions. You can go back into the transaction by double clicking and we can see the detail of the transaction. For example here I forgot to add the remark uh, miscellaneous sales. I'm going to update. Update details on the row as well. I'm going to say yes and OK. And we see we have two now for miscellaneous sales. Um, both of those look correct, and so I'm going to say update, and now this is saved as an actual journal voucher, and I'm going to say OK. The great power of journal vouchers is their ability to be used in reporting. So for example, we go to a financial report, an example on a balance sheet. And I want to run my balance sheet for the year to date, and what I can do over here is add journal vouchers. Now all of these temporary postings that I've created in my journal vouchers will show up in my financial statement so that I can see the effect those postings will have on my eventual postings. So these numbers reflect the addition of the journal vouchers entered into the system. If I uncheck this, we run it again, we will see, at least in our initial, we have a deduction of $5,000, actually $11,000, from our cash at hand. All right. Okay, now that we've confirmed that everything is posting as we expect it to, and it is yielding the correct results, um, not that we would expect it to do anything but the correct results, but we want to make sure there's no errors in our entries, we can go back to our journal vouchers, look at voucher number one, and if this is correct, we can say post voucher. If it is incorrect, we can always go to the line and remove just this row, say delete row, and we can remove a single line from the voucher, or we can add entry to existing voucher and we can put that line back supposed to be cash on hand, but this was supposed to be 7000 Oops. Or 1 1 7000 add to voucher. We say close. It's now in the voucher again. The other option of course we can go here and we can actually make this adjustment uh, manually because this is a test voucher and not locked into the system um, it is editable okay everything looks correct this is what we want to post um, we're not going to add any new vouchers which is an option we have what we're going to do is say update and post voucher uh, save journal voucher to a permanent file. We're going to say yes. We hope we find this helpful. Um, and if you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call at 559-477-4256. Thank you.